Okay, so it looks like I owe you guys an apology. In my last video, I listed all the games that were meant to come out this month of September. And I actually forgot a crucial game. In fact, you guys are actually pretty upset that I forgot to mention Paradox. I've been getting DMs, I've been seeing people in the comments, and they keep spamming ags, how have you forgotten about Paradox? And I humbly apologize. That's why today I'm going to correct that mistake and talk about Paradox. So for those of you that don't know, Paradox is actually an upcoming Bleach game that is actually meant to come out sometime in September. In fact, the developer for the game said the game will be coming summer of 2024, anytime between when the post was originally made and the 22nd of September. So we have only about 20 days before this game is actually meant to release to the public. And back when this post was originally made, in July, the owner also stated that the game is more than 90% complete, which also means the game is practically ready for release, or at least it should be ready for release as of right now. Now the last time I took a look or even got to see Paradox was back when they did the open combat test. And I'm not gonna lie, this was probably about late 2023, so it's been quite a while since I've played Paradox. And back then, the game was actually in a pretty decent state. The combat actually worked pretty fine back then. There was a little bit of hiccups and some missing pieces and some really bright flashing lights that could lead to someone getting an epileptic seizure. I'm not joking, but I'm pretty sure all of those things have been changed and addressed. We got to play an early version of the game's combat to see how the game was and to see how the game flowed and the combat system was actually pretty good. The parrying worked really well as well. However, there was some things I didn't like about the combat and that is that it felt like it took a little bit too long to kill your opponent. The time to kill in this game was a little bit too high in my opinion, from at least from what I remember. And I also have more good news. On top of the fact that Paradox is meant to come out this month of September, I will actually be able to give you guys tester slots in order to play the game early before the game comes out for the public. And yes, the game is coming out free to play for everybody on PC. All you guys actually have to do to get these tester slots, and I can get up to 4 tester slots by the way, is hit the like button on this video and join the Discord server using the link in my description. And I'll put in the pinned comment for you guys that don't know how to read the description. For every 75 people that join my link, I get to invite one tester. So I can invite a bunch of people eventually. And with this early access slot, obviously you guys are going to be able to play the game early. I'm pretty sure it's a week before the game releases or something along those lines, don't quote me. But you're going to get to play the game before everybody else. And that's actually always a good thing. So without further ado, click the link in the description and the pinned comment. And and we're actually going to be hopping in the Paradox Discord server to see if there's actually anything new about the game because I haven't seen any gameplay sneaks for this game in over a year now. Okay, we are in the Paradox Discord server. Let's, if you go up on sneak peeks, uh, this is August, August, July, 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 June, April, March. They, they don't post that many sneaks that often. So yeah, they kind of been working behind the scenes. And just working pretty quietly. What's the last sneak I think I've seen on this Discord? Was it this? Yeah, this was the last sneak I saw. So the last time I've seen any sneaks or gameplay was back in February. And this is just a UI change. So it, it's pretty, it's pretty, we haven't seen anything in a while. So let's go back to the bottom. I just want to see what the game's looking like now and what they've changed and if things are looking better from the last time I played this game. So let's check that out. I don't know if there's copyright, so I'm gonna leave it pretty low. Okay, they have a little combo combo bar. Combo Mia, that looks pretty hard, I'm not gonna lie. Why did it just reset the whole thing? And then we have the Goku Black Scythe. That's pretty W. That's 100% going to be for um, Arankas. It's definitely in the resurrection. Because Soul Reapers don't have stuff like this. And obviously it's not going to be for Quincy's. Yeah, that looks hard. I'm not going to lie to you. 
Okay, uh, UI looks pretty much the same since the last time I played. I think they've changed it slightly, but it looks pretty similar from the last time I played. Obviously, this wasn't here before, so this is new. And obviously, I've never seen this before. So that's a pretty W sneak. Uh, Divinity Resurrection. Oh, so it is something for our own cards. It's a resurrection. Alright, that makes sense. What's this? Okay, that's uh Ichigo's uh thingy mode, Basta Lode, whatever it's called. Is that JoJo in a Bleach game? What, do we think there's going to be a Shikai? The Jojo Shikai? Uh, testing's officially started. QA testers rolled out to early access soon. Expecting Sneak Wave very soon. Funny, cool. Star Platinum's a spec. Okay, it's, un it's an unobtainable spec. I thought it was actually going to be in the game. That would have been crazy. What's this? Some sort of ability. Flash Step Barrage. From what it looks like here yeah flash that barrage kind of gives me um i forgot the name from type so doesn't really matter though uh what's the say modified the move a bit to ensure it's good for pvp you can parry the start makes sense here we got some sort of mob sneak uh the mob looks pretty cool i mean we can't actually see the mob but from here it looks pretty cool intro cutscene. okay intro cutscene. Not a big sneak like progression, so I'm not pinging everybody. Gets hit by a car. Typical. Typical, typical anime moment. Typical truck, truck kun moment. You've met your end, but you sense a new beginning. So this is probably how we become a Soul Reaper, a Shinigami. We die, and then we become a Shinigami. I would assume so. I would assume so. Or this is how we become a lost soul. That's how we. That's how we become a lost soul, and then we get to choose what path we go around. That would make the most sense, at least. Oh, that's that's crazy. What's this? A uh, resurrection? Has to be a resurrection. What else would it be? Oh yeah, that's hard. That's that's kind of hard. Uh, one is transformation we've been working on recently, behind the scenes. Expect it soon. It doesn't say what it is. Oh, uh, it definitely is a resurrection. There's no way it's it's not. Paradox. Oh, there's the loading screen. Oh, GTA joint. Okay, GTA joint's kind of hard. I I, I effed it. I F with it, I F with it. Okay, that's pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Uh what other sneaks we got here? Oh, this PvP sneak? Okay, cool. One minute PvP sneak too. That was a pretty nice parry. I'm gonna put the volume up for this a bit. Parry that. Parry into the explosion is clean. Like, as soon as it procs. It's still procs with the parry, but like, anyways, whatever. OD flat. There's way too much flash stepping. I think that's what I'm so over in terms of bleach games. It's like the consistent flash step combat. It's so, so irri irritating. Like, every two seconds, flash step, flash step, flash step. I mean, I get it. It's a Bleach game. It's meant to be like that, but it's so annoying, bro. The flash step sound is different, though. You hear it's like, it's kind of bloopy. Bloop, 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 bloop. 
I like it. It's not heavy. Like Arankas and Type Soul have a heavy flash step sound. The the VFX is so strong you can barely see what's going on sometimes though. Like there's so much like going on on the screen in terms of the ability VFX. If you're not paying attention completely, you can completely miss something. Like it's it's definitely heavy on the VFX. Let's see what this is. Big blood. Oh, this is a boss. Okay, that's that's crazy. Let me turn that down. I hear copyright music there. Yeah, it is a boss. That's that's hard. And it's not them type soul bosses where you can't even fight back. It looks like you're gonna be able to to actually parry, move around. A boss isn't gonna have auto track moves that or like pull you in from halfway across the map. Okay, I, I, I don't know. I I like what I see. We're gonna have to actually play it to to get a good judgment on it. And then the rest of these sneaks I have seen, except for this one. I don't know if this is gonna be a boss, but this looks pretty crazy. What the heck? But yeah, I'm seeing everything else here. I've seen this sneak. This is he's just fighting, he's fighting someone. And then they use the resurrection. Yeah, he uses his resurrection here. I'll let you guys see it because you probably haven't seen it. So you have vampire res versus stark res. The stark res actually looks way better than the vampire res. From what I remember playing, the vampire res's abilities are kind of kind of boring, kind of lame. And then I don't think there's any way of making stark res bad. Like literally, you just can't. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Uh, don't need to finish this. But yeah, that's about it. All the rest of the sneaks I've definitely seen. Look, these are all, these are from January. So yeah, the last time I played a game was a while ago. Hopefully the game's feels and looks way better now. Can't wait to hop in and try that. You guys, if you made it to the end, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and make sure you join the Discord server using my link in the description. Let's... Let's go crazy, man. Paradox is coming out this. There's another game to add to the list, y'all. Paradox is coming out this month.